A couple of days ago on Instagram, I asked you guys to let me know what questions, thoughts, or concerns you might have about the all new Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Backpack. So the bag you see in front of me right here launched on Kickstarter roughly two weeks ago, and that's about as much time as I've had to play around with it and get a feel for what it's all about. Now keep in mind that I was sent this bag as a gift, but I was by no means obligated to make any video or review about the bag. This is going to be my 100% honest thoughts, including the good and the bad. But with all of that out of the way, let's answer some questions. I'd love to see what it can hold at max capacity. Now I don't think I have enough stuff with me here at this very moment to really push the bag to its absolute limits in terms of its maximum capacity, but what I can do is give you a brief overview of what I would personally fit into this bag, as well as some of the features that are included. First thing I'd like to point out is that the waist strap is removable with some Velcro and it comes out just like so. In the past, if I wanted to remove this off of other bags, I would have to use scissors and just cut it off, which obviously means you can never use it ever again. So this is a really nice little touch. So now let's open this up and take a look at our gear compartment. And right away, you can tell that this can be configured in many different ways. We've got an area here, which is where I would normally keep my Sony a7 III. Then right here is where I would put my Sony a6500. Obviously I'm using both of those cameras right now to record this video, but here's a picture of what that would look like when it is fully packed. In this little slot here, I've got this pouch where I keep my wireless lav kit. Now in this section here, I've got three lenses. And then if we look down here, this is a portable little aperture light that I like to have handy. Now this right here is an accessory case, which is included with the bag. You open that up and you can see I've got a bunch of batteries here. I've got my lens blower. And then of course, in this pouch up here is where I keep Keep all of my cables. Now in this top portion right here, which takes up the most area, this is the cube pack. This is optional. You don't have to get it with the bag. Without it, you have a lot more extra space within the bag to put more stuff. But if you do get the cube pack and you open it up, you will find you have some space to put something like maybe a drone and then you can just pack that up and take it with you without the rest of the bag. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the cube pack in just a few moments. Now in these zipper compartments here, we have a couple of cool features. This is an ND filter case also included with the bag. You can open that up and you'll notice there's a bunch of little pouches for your ND filters. And in addition to the filter case, we also have the SD card case. If you open this up, you'll notice a lot of space to place your SD cards, but you can also put CFast cards as well. And then you have a nice little zipper pouch here for, I don't know, maybe more cards? Not entirely sure, but you can definitely put more stuff in there, which is cool. Got another zipper pouch up here where I keep my power bank as well as the dongle for connecting things to my computer. And now up top here, we've got a tablet pouch where you can keep your iPads or tablets. I just got my Mac charger and some extra dividers hidden away in there. Now on the side of the bag here, we've got a water bottle pouch, which can also hold your Gorilla pod or your gimbal if you use the included straps. What I love about this pouch is that if you're not using it, you can close it up and it stays shut using magnets, which keeps the design nice and sleek. And then we've got this zipper here to reveal the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I think I saw somewhere that you can fit certain 17 inch laptops in here. Now, of course, this bag is being viewed as a traveler's camera backpack. So let's talk a little bit about the clothing situation. Now, right here, we have what I believe to be enough clothing to travel for a long weekend photography trip. This is four t-shirts right here, as well as two pairs of pants, track pants and jeans. And then of course, while you're traveling, you're gonna have the clothes that you're already wearing. I've got these compression bags here from Nomadic. These are not included with the bag, but they're extremely helpful. I'll unzip the compression zipper here to reveal extra depth in the bag. And then I'll go ahead and add the t-shirts to the compression bag one by one. And once you have the t-shirts inside the compression bag, you can go ahead and zip it up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the pants. I'll take this strap here and this will keep everything nice and secure. But you'll notice that if we try to shut the bag as is, we've got quite a gap here. So what I can actually do is take the zipper right here and pull it all the way around. And what this gives us is an extra four inches or so of expandable storage. And now you can see that the bag shuts with absolutely no problem. You can see we've got a couple of extra pouches here for socks or underwear. Then you've got another zipper here, which opens up this compartment. You can put your toiletry bag in there, maybe another hoodie or a light fall jacket. Now, if you are traveling with this bag, you do have the zipper on the front here to reveal an RFID safe pouch with a magnet. So you can put your wallet with your credit cards in there. 
And then you have this secondary pocket here for your keys, your passport, or whatever travel documents that you might have with you. Second question, is there an easy access zip directly to the camera? Yes, there is. If we turn the bag on its side and you don't want to open up the entire gear compartment just to access your camera body, you can do so from over here by opening up this zipper. Your camera body will be right there and you can start shooting. Is it comfortable for your back when holding a lot of gear inside? I'd actually say it's a lot more comfortable than I expected given how big the bag is, but also how much stuff is currently in there. The waist strap definitely helps with that a lot because it alleviates some of the pressure that you would have on your shoulders and puts it on your hips. One major issue I've had with a lot of other bags in the past is that the shoulder straps are just too thin and dig into your collarbone. Bones. This is not the case with this bag. These are nicely padded. They're actually really comfortable on the shoulders. But obviously with any bag of this sort of size, when you start filling it up with stuff, it's gonna get really heavy, which leads us to our next question. Can you use it as a daily bag, not as a travel bag or a gear bag? I mean, yeah, technically you could, but I personally wouldn't. I would definitely bring this with me on a shoot or traveling, but as a day-to-day -day type thing, cruising around downtown on my skateboard or going on the subway, this is just far too hefty. But what's great is that you don't have to worry about that because inside the bag, we do of course have this cube pack like I mentioned before. But what I didn't tell you about this cube pack is that when you open it up, it converts into a lightweight everyday backpack. Now this right here is by far my favorite feature of the entire bag. This cube pack in the bottom portion here, you can store a camera like my Sony a7 III or maybe a Mavic drone. There's plenty of space in there. And then in the top portion here, you can put some extra clothing, maybe a gimbal. And then you have a zipper pouch here to put your wallet, keys, pack of gum, whatever you bring with you on your day-to-day -day travels. Would you recommend to buy just the cube pack? If you've already got a camera backpack like this that you're totally satisfied with, but you want something a little bit more lightweight that you could take on your day-to-day -day journeys, then yes, 100%, I would recommend picking up a cube pack. Does it really replace the need of an extra clothing bag while carrying all of your camera gear. Now what I would say to that is if you plan on packing light for a long weekend getaway or a photography trip and you just need the bare essentials like three to four days worth of clothing, yes you can definitely do that with this bag. What I would say though is that if you're traveling for a week-long family vacation, you most certainly need an extra luggage with you to keep all of your clothing because this is not gonna do that justice. And now for the question you've all been waiting for, is it worth the money? Right now on Kickstarter, everything you see here, including the main bag, the cube pack, the filter case, the accessory case, the SD card pouch, plus a battery case, which I do not currently have, is 510 USD. But the full retail price is expected to be about $675. Now at first glance, this does sound very expensive for a camera bag, especially given what camera bags on the market generally go for. But once I actually looked at the price breakdown of what you're getting in this package, it does start to totally make sense in my opinion, because you're not just paying for a single bag. The bag itself and all of these other items included are premium products, and I think that the price reflects the quality accurately. But to answer your question, is it actually worth that kind of money? That's gonna be totally up to you and your own value system. But I've gotta say that after two weeks with these bags, they definitely tick all of the boxes for me and I haven't felt like they were neglecting anything. So I would say yes for myself, it is definitely worth the money. And last question of the day, any cons, please be honest. Now maybe I'm being nitpicky and I'm a paranoid person, but if you're in a crowded area and you're worried about getting pickpocketed, there's not really any sort of locking feature as it stands for this front zipper right here. So being so far on the other side of the bag as your body, I'm not sure if you'll notice someone slipping that open, taking your wallet or your passport, or whatever valuables you have in there, just something to be aware of. It's not a huge deal. I'm probably really reaching to find a negative, but that's the only thing I would point out. All things considered, I am extremely impressed with this product. I think Peter and Nomadic, you guys should be very proud of what you've made. This is probably the most impressive modern day photographers, filmmakers, camera, backpack, given all of the features included and just the materials and the quality and the branding, the whole look, everything is great. If you guys like this review, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer, where I will provide future updated thoughts on using the bag after a bit longer of a period of time rather than just two weeks. And I will see you guys in the next video.